And speaking of the Second Amendment, the Oregon House just passed some new gun legislation after lawmakers in both parties received threats over this. All right, first, here's what Senate Bill 554 does. It would require owners to keep their guns locked up when they're not using them. It would also ban concealed carry guns from the state capitol, and it would let public schools and colleges ban them from their campuses if they so choose. It'd be up to them. The bill was going to let cities and counties do the same thing, ban concealed carry guns from their own government buildings, but it got amended, and now that part's out. So now it's safe to say pretty much any gun bill ends up being controversial, right? We know that. But this has definitely escalated. And last week, Democratic Representative Rachel Prusak released a statement saying, quote, I was made aware that several flyers targeting me with anti-Semitic stereotypes and Holocaust imagery were posted in Clackamas County. She went on to say the hate symbols displayed were used to attack my identity while also attacking my commitment to pass gun safety legislation that will save the lives of Oregonians throughout the state. She said police are investigating this. And now we asked Representative Prusak for an interview, but we were told she's understandably traumatized by this experience, and she frankly doesn't want to talk about it. We get it. But another Jewish lawmaker, Representative David Gomberg, did want to talk to us about what happened. The context here is firearms legislation, but let's be very clear. This is not about guns. This is about the alt-right. This is about extreme white supremacists. This is about anti-Semitism all hijacking the conversation and trying to inject bigoted ideas and motives into legitimate policy de debates. And we should be very clear that this is a threat. When we see posters and flyers being distributed in the community that, that call out one of our members as being Jewish, but then also put images of her on the posters wearing a Star of David with the word Jude printed across it. Anyone with a, an understanding of our history understands the context, understands the message, understands the nature of the threat that's being issued here. And based on this, the description, by the way, you can understand why we're not showing that poster on TV. That said, Prusak is not the only one who has been threatened over this gun bill. Republicans in the Senate say they got threatening emails, too, even though they're against the bill. The reason? They didn't walk out to stop the vote. So here's what GOP Senator Bill Hansel told Dan earlier this month. Well, life-threatening is what it would be. Uh, <clears throat> you need to be shot, I think, was for voting for 445. I think that was the one. They were not very polite. They were, uh, in some cases, pretty vicious in uh, name calling and uh, a variety of things. So. We're told state police are investigating those emails as well. And someone also filed a recall petition against the Senate Republican leader, Fred Girard, because he didn't lead a walkout over this gun bill. And the Rep Republican leader in the House, Representative Christine Drazen, says she has also been targeted by gun groups for not walking out. It's a big mess. She had a message for them on the floor yesterday. Some unscrupulous organizations have misled Oregonians into thinking that lobbying any Democrat is a waste of their time. That instead they should push the easy button and call on me to deny quorum. They were told that instead of voting no, I have an obligation to leave right now before the final gavel drops. The people who vote with you today, the people who vote against Senate Bill 554B, are not the enemy. And since, by the way, that bill got amended by the House, it has to go back to the Senate now, so we will obviously keep you posted on what happens there.